We're gonna build a mobile app for your clients on top of Airtable in under 20 minutes. Let's dive right in. So you built your base and it's looking great, but you want your clients to be able to interact with it directly. So maybe you thought interfaces was the answer, so you went and did that, only to realize that every client you invite to an interface costs you $24 a month on the pro plan. So today I'm gonna to show you a way to build a fully functional mobile app that your clients can use to interact directly with your Airtable base at no additional charge per user. First, let's take a look at the base. Maybe we run an event planning business and you've got clients and projects. And you wanna let the clients see the projects that you are working on for them. And in some cases, you want them to provide information to you, not in an email, not in text, but in a way that can write directly to the database. The tool you're going to need to use is called Glide. GlideApps.com. I'll put the link in the description. Sign up for your account and connect your Airtable base. Then we're going to click New Project. We'll call it Event Planner Base and we'll choose between mobile app and large screen. In this case, we're gonna do a mobile app. And then we continue. It asks you how you wanna connect. We're gonna say connect through Airtable. I'm gonna choose Airtable. Find the event planner base. And create the page. Okay, at the moment, it's showing all four of your tables as options that you want to display in this app. But in this case, we just want the projects. Now you can see they're already displaying each of these projects in a specific way. But let's pull down to this collection component here and let's modify it a little bit for our, our taste. Let's see what a list view looks like. Okay. Now you've got the name of the project and the status of the project listed. I like it. And then when you click into each, there's a detail page and the detail page can be highly customized. So heading back into the base for a moment, let's see what type of detail do we want to display inside the app? I want to have the start date, the end date, the status, the budget, notes, website. Let's do that. Now let's select the component that we want to display that information. The one I like is called fields. It looks like we already have a fields component on the app, so I won't click it again. Let's click over into that fields component and let's start to select the data we want. Start date and due date, you can see are already there. We want budget, which is not displaying because there is no budget. And we'll take out notes and website for now. Great. Now remember, we're building this so that our clients can provide data directly into the database. So we need what's called form elements. Here you see you've got text entry, date, time, number entry, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we wanna be able to allow them to provide pieces of info like the budget the notes, the website. So for the first one, we'll do website. You can see it defaulted to the notes column, but we're gonna select website. Then let's do that again, we'll duplicate it. We'll call this one referring to the notes. And we'll make this one a little bit taller because we want them to provide those notes. So now when the client is using this app, they can paste the website for this project directly into the app and have it display right into our Airtable database. Now there's a five to maybe 30 second delay in the talk back between Glide and Airtable. But as you can see, as I was talking, that website now displayed directly into Airtable. Let's now do that with budget. So we're gonna copy this, select budget, 
and we're going to allow our clients to indicate what their budget is for this engagement. In this case, for the youth sports clinic, there isn't yet a budget in the, air, in the base, so we're going to allow them to say what they want. In this case, 6500 Now you saw as I put that value there, it also appeared in the fields table because that value went from being uh, zero or not existing to existing, which opened up that section of our field component. All right, and last but not least, we will add some notes. We can say, I'd like to meet with the building inspector before we start. Let's definitely use ABC Sports as a vendor on this one. They were great last time. Okay, now let's go back to the base and you'll see the notes are gonna populate, the budget has already populated, and there you go. You're now able to have your clients interact directly with your base. Now the last question we're gonna go over in this tutorial is how do you silo the app by client? Of course, you don't want one client to see all your projects. So let me show you how to restrict them accordingly. The first thing we're gonna do is open up a field in our Airtable base called record ID. And that's gonna be in the client's table. Make it a formula field and use the easy formula record ID with a close parenthesis. Now you've got a unique string of characters for every client in your business. Then you'll notice on the project table, we've got a linked record field that goes back to the client and it already indicates who that client is. And if we look up that record ID, we're able to now have that record ID inside the project table. So let's go back to Glide. I'm gonna hit data real quick and refresh the connection to Airtable to make sure that those new fields we just opened up come in. Of course, they'll come in over time, but sometimes it takes about 30 seconds to maybe a minute for that to happen. So this, this speeds up that process. Now you can see in the projects table, which is mirrored in, in Glide, we've got the record ID from the client. And in the clients table, we've also got the record ID. So now we're gonna copy that information to the users table so we know the record ID of the person who's using the app at all times. So here we go. In the clients table, we've got name, we've got email, and we're gonna bring the record ID field all the way over. Great. Now in the users table, we need nine additional rows. So we've got, let's see, two, th we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna open up a column and we'll call this record ID. And we'll bring that over as well head to the clients, copy all of this information, and paste. Great, now we've got a list of clients, sorry, a list of users with record IDs that match our Airtable database. So now back to the home page, which is the list view of the projects for which we want our clients to see. Pardon the change of scenery, I needed to take care of a couple things before picking this back up and closing out. So we're gonna create a filter where record ID from client in the projects table 
is record ID from the users table. And now you see Cami Faraday is only shown the projects that she is assigned. And if we switch from Cami to Catherine, we see only Catherine's projects. And if we switch from Catherine to Drew, we see only Drew's projects and so on and so forth. Well, there you have it. That's how you use Glide to allow your clients to interact directly with your Airtable database at no additional charge per user. This is Max Bernstein with Industry Automations. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.